This episode of the Second Pull Podcast is brought to you by Isolator Fitness. American-made quality and affordable prices. Use code RISKY, R-I-Z-K-Y, for 10% off your whole order at isolatorfitness.com. Now back to the Second Pull Podcast. I want to get into something that actually happened today. So Sports Illustrated uh, came out with 100 individuals. They did top 50 fittest athletes. They separated by the guys and the girls. So um, for the men, uh, Kendrick Ferris was actually on the list. He was ranked number 27th. So congratulations, congratulations to him. And Maddie Rogers was ranked 39th. Um, a quick honorable mention is was number five Tia Claire uh, Toomey. She's a CrossFitter, but she was also um, an Olympian weightlifter from Australia. Um, she was number five on the list. But before we get into anything else, I just <sighs> so Maddie Rogers, Olympic weightlifter, once did CrossFit. Hopefully, we'll get her on to share her full story eventually. Um, ranked number 39th of top five, top 50 fittest athletes in the world. Now, great for her. Congratulations. I'm not taking away from anything that is anybody that number. I think she needs, she's, I think she is, deserves a. I want to say higher number, but not higher number, like closer to 50, higher number, like closer to one. Because first off, let's just talk about who's 38. 38 is Danica freaking Patrick, the NASCAR driver. Now, I understand NASCAR drivers have to have some type of endurance and stamina to stay in that car for as many laps. But you have a pure Olympic weightlifting record holder, athlete. One of the strongest women in the country by Sinclair, one of the best women lifters in the country by Sinclair. And I get it, there's some CrossFitters, there's some WNBA players, but then there's there's water polo, which I was gonna kind of nick at, but I've played water polo recreationally in college once against the swim team like football team versus swim team because I played football in college and that game is hard as hell endurance wise to stay afloat and then they're dunking you and all that stuff but like surfers are in the top 20 skiers are in the top 20 snowboarders are in the top 20 but a pure Olympic weightlifting athlete at the caliber of Maddie Rogers and you're telling me she just squeaks into the top 40 you're joking right Danica Patrick number 38 let me see if I can pull up the list because this blew my mind it might be a little slow number 50 is an American Ninja Warrior um, that's just and this girl looks like she's in great shape but you're telling me let me get to some of the people that are higher ranked than maddie rogers first off i want to say this um u.s open uh tennis champ sloan stevens number 40 maddie rogers beat her maddie so look hey that's a good thing and maybe i'm selfish because i'm a weightlifter but like and then they use Like, they use a video of Danica Patrick powerlifting, doing a damn deadlift for, it doesn't even say how much weight's on there, it says some other person. And you got some people, like, um, there's a pair of uh, Paralympic track and field athlete. Okay, but look here, number thirty-nine, half pipe snowboarder. 
Um, some more tennis players. Okay, maybe track and field. Okay, if we're talking about fittest, track and field over lifting. But a surfer over an Olympic weightlifter, a cyclist. Maybe I'll give you that. I don't even know what that is. Um, that's like number thirty-one. It's a hep athlete. That just sounds like it's athletic, so I'm not going to judge that. But judo, okay. Okay, now 29. Here's a little bit of um, where I come into an issue, okay? I am one of the biggest WWE fans imaginable. I watch 